but we have short because we have two recessive T's. So green and short, that gets one. Now, once again, we have green and tall. We have green and short, right? Because this is still dominant over the lowercase g, but we have two recessive here, so we'll have short. Here we have green and we have tall once again, green and tall here. Now we have yellow and tall, so one here. Once again, we have yellow and tall. Here we have uh, tall and green, so we have one more here. Here we have green and short, so we have green and short. Here we have yellow and short. And finally, we have yellow. Um, here we have yellow and tall, and here we have yellow and short. So we see that we have nine here, now nine total here. We have three total here, three total here, and we have a one total here. So we see that the ratio is nine to three to three to three. This is the ratio of the four different types of phenotypes of our offspring. So we have four potential phenotypes and these are the ratios. Now, if we want to talk in terms of probability, we can also talk in terms of probability. So remember, the probability of each one of these gametes forming is one fourth, because out of the four, we have four different possibilities. So each one of these has a probability of taking place um, with this fraction. And here, we have the same exact situation, one fourth, one fourth, one fourth. And so every time we cross this, each one of these has a probability of one sixteen. So one sixteen for each one of these. Now, so let's, okay, so let's pretend that each one of these has one sixteenth to save time. And if we actually tally up, here we have nine of them, and if we add up nine of these 1 16th values, nine times 1 16th gives us nine over 16. Here it's three over 16, here it's three over 16, and here it's one over 16. So these are the probabilities. So there is a nine out of 16 chance that the offspring that will be produced will be green and tall. There's a three 16th chance that so this should, yeah, so it's this, this. 3 16th chance that our offspring will be green and short, 3 16th chance that it will be yellow and tall, and only one out of 16th probability that it, it will be yellow and short. So this is what we mean by dihybrid cross. A dihybrid cross is simply a cross in which we're considering not one, but two different traits for that individual for that off uh, for that plant or for that organism